Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from a busy senior center, bringing you some of today's top headlines. A Hormel is coming back to Austin. James Hormel, the first openly gay U.S. ambassador, will be in Austin Saturday to sign copies of his autobiography, Fit to Serve. And in other news, construction work to add 14 memory care units at the Cedars of Austin has been slowed by building code issues. The issues could be resolved by the end of the week. The $14,000 remodel is expected to take about a month. Well, let's take it out to Daily Herald reporter Matt Peterson with today's news update. Matt, what's going on? Trey, the Fort Myers Barbershop Chorus is looking for local talent. The group is inviting all men in the area who enjoy singing to join them for their first Christmas chorus rehearsal at 7 p.m. on Monday, November 21st at the American Legion in Adams. And in other news, uh, Old Man Winter can't stand up to the Austin area farmer's market. The market has moved inside the Oak Park Mall, and market vendors still have plenty of fall vegetables, such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, squash, and more. So check that out. Trey, let's take it back to you. Thanks, Matt. And finally, authorities say dozens of cats that sneaked into a South Florida prison will be found new homes before the facility closes next month. As many as 80 cats have burrowed under fences and taken up residence at the state-run prison in Belle Grande. In Belle Glade, excuse me. Prisoners have been feeding the animals, even though rules prohibit that. Well, that's it for today's top headlines. For more news about your community and your town, please go to AustinDailyHerald.com. For the Daily Herald, I'm Trey Muse, saying that's the way it is today.